So we begin this um, beautiful festival with a very unique collaboration. It is a Canada's 150th year celebration and as we know we are a land of inclusiveness. We have people from all over the world cherishing its resources, living in harmony. Yet some of us are very unaware of um, the history of this country and how everything has merged together to make this country as great um, as it is. So we are delighted to have with us today Miss Cheryl Shenyo Grey Eyes, an Aboriginal singer, along with Steph Miss Stephanie Evans, an Aboriginal jingle dress dancer. Without further ado, I would like to invite them on stage to tell them their story in their own words. Tanse, Oki, welcome. My name is Cheryl Shanyo Grey Eyes. I am from Treaty 6. My colleague, Stephanie Evans, is from Treaty 8. We wish to acknowledge the fact that we are standing, in your case sitting, on the land of the Treaty 7 people. We are on the land of the Blackfoot from Siksika, Gainai, Buguni. We are on the land of the Dene Sarsi people from Tsutsena. We are on the land of the Stony Nakoda people from Morley, Chiniki, Berispa, and Wesley First Nation. We are walking in the footsteps of the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. We honor the fact that we are visitors to this land. If you are Canadian, you are a treaty person. We wish to acknowledge the fact that we are welcome, welcoming you here to this land in a good way. I'm going to sing a song. This song is known as Mia Sin, which means beautiful in Cree. It was written by Joseph Netaway in Saskatchewan from Treaty 6, my territory. And usually when I sing songs in our tradition, we sing them in rounds of four to honor the teachings of the medicine wheel in the four directions. But this song, I'm going to sing in three rounds. And the reason is to leave it open, inclusive, and inviting you into our circle. This is Mia Sin, the Cree welcome song. Mia sin, Mia sin, a semina, a semina, a peta cote. Niwa go magan. O ta, o ma, ki taski no. Mia sen, mia sen. Chakote niwa go magan o cha o ma ki taski no mi asen mi asen a Chakote niwa go magan. O cha, o ma, ki taski no. Welcome.
we are going to be doing a beautiful jingle dance. And I'd like Stephanie to come and share the story behind the jingle dance. Her regalia that she is wearing today is jingle regalia. 365 jingles, one for each day of the year. I'll let Stephanie share her beautiful story. Tanse. Nisa Gatsun, Stephanie, Egwa Kiwakinak. Thank you for allowing us to be here tonight. The song that Cheryl is going to sing is normally not a song that you would hear with the jingle dress dance, but it is a healing dance. It originates from the Ishinaabe people or Ojibwe from Whitefish Bay, Ontario. And in about, oh gosh, many, 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 many moons ago, there was a young girl at that time, she would have been maybe four or five, her name is Maggie White. She was really sick. And her grandfather um, went to go pray for her. And and during his time of ceremony and praying, he was told he needed to make a dress for her. A dress needed to be made. And during that dance, when she would dance with that cone dress, she would slowly get better. And so as the cones were rolled, tobacco was put in them for prayers. And as she took her steps... She slowly gained her strength. And on that first day of that ceremony, she couldn't even walk. And by the fourth day of that ceremony, of that jingle dress dance, that healing dance, she was able to dance that dress. So we share this song for you. I share this healing dance for you tonight here in this beautiful theater in, in hopes of the path that we're on for reconciliation and in hopes for justice for our missing and murdered Indigenous women. Aho Matakiase. The bear song. The bear is community, represents community. And we are here and welcomed into your community. We wish to thank you for that. This is the bear song. representatives of the Walking With Our Sisters display. This display is going to be here on campus at Mount Royal University in April of this coming year, 2018. This display consists of 2,200 pairs of vamps. Vamps are the top part of the moccasin where the beading is done. 
<laughs> She's trying to show you there. And these 22 vamps represent 2,200 missing and murdered Indigenous women. Just like the shoes, their lives are unfinished, which is the significance of the vamps. We are seeking funding and support and interest for our Walking with Our Sisters display. I invite you to look, at us, look us up online, and if you hear about events, our fundraisers, we will be having silent auction, um, some music concerts ourselves, and other fundraising activities. We're getting a, a calendar. We're going to do that too. Um, so we are doing this so that we can bring this display to Calgary. It has traveled around Canada, and finally it'll be coming to Calgary, and we're very blessed. Again, that is Walking with Our Sisters, and my colleagues Stephanie and I are very blessed to have been here and share this in such a good way. We really share many things in common as people on this planet. We are brothers and sisters on this planet. The first sound that we hear our mother's heartbeat. And then the next sound we hear, that's our heartbeat. Let's go real fast. But that's the first sound we hear is a mother's heartbeat. And it joins us, for we are all brothers and sisters on this planet. We all share the same blood. And we have far more in common than we do that separates us. We are honored and humbled to have been asked to perform and share our culture in a good way. And we wish you all the best for a beautiful concert in the next few days. Thank you. May Creator watch over you. Hi, hi.